What's up, storytellers? I'm Garlic here, and today we're gonna talk about how to grow a videography business during the pandemic and avoid the roller coaster right when we get back. All right, so here we are. It is the pandemic, it's locked down, things are changing. And even when this is over, things are gonna change. We're gonna need socially distance. So how are we gonna grow this and avoid the roller coaster? We're out there getting leads, you close some leads, you do the deal, you do all the video production, and then you have to go out and find more business and you don't know if you're even making a profit. Well, before we get into it, make sure I'm gonna be putting out a lot of videos on this uh, because I want to help other videography businesses. I've been doing this for 10 years. I've made all the mistakes, but I've also helped other videographers on top of what we've done at Authentic Web sell 10, 20, $50,000 video packages on a regular basis, build up retainers. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how I would go about doing that right now. But if you want more of this information, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like this video, let me know if you like it, and let us know what type of video production business you have. You know, there is the roller coaster, right? It, it's, it's a real thing. Because you go out there, you've got to hustle for deals, you got to hustle for clients. Maybe you're going on and going on to directories, you're getting leads, you're putting out a proposal, you're maybe one out of five proposals is getting accepted. And it's maybe the lowest proposal, right? First of all, you have to have to sell strategy and you have no marketing and you have to have a niche. Now, once you do these things, now you start to produce. You have to build up systems. So you have to have systems for what packages you're gonna to put together, your pre-production system, your production system, and your sales system. So the sales system drives into the pre-production and production system. And the sales have to be driven and accompanied with marketing. And I'm going to talk about marketing and sales in the next few videos because there are two different things. It's, you know, how do you market it and how do you sell and close clients? Once you do that, you have to, like I said, have your systems. So you have to, have, you sell and now you have an onboarding system. How do you get clients from the contract to uh, knowing what's going on to pre-production. When you have systems for these, you're not scrambling and you can then take and hand these off to other people. You can get other people to help you with this because your main job should be strategy and selling strategy for a while until you can afford a salesperson. And that's a little ways down the way for many of you. You might have an agency where you're already selling and have a salesperson, but you need to be the number one marketer, number one salesperson for your company. That needs to be your number one role. And that's how you're going to grow. So to do that, to avoid the roller coaster that you have to do everything afterwards, you have to build out those systems, like I said. And besides onboarding, you get pre-production, you should have production systems. You should have packages, packages that you can then hand off some of the work, if not all of the work to people, and you're monitoring how well it's done. And systems allow you to do that. You know, I made the big mistake of thinking I could just hire editors. And you have to have, you know, you can have the greatest editor of the world, but if they don't know marketing, if they don't know what you're trying to accomplish, you can have a beautiful video come out, but it doesn't get results. So that's the other thing you have to do is start producing results. So now you've got your systems, you've got your pre-production, your production systems. Um, you then need delivery systems to produce those results. How are you gonna do this? Are you uh, partnering? You should have referral partners. That's gonna help you to grow faster. I'm gonna talk about that in a future video. But also, you should have some sort of distribution mechanism, whether it's SEO, whether it's Facebook ads, whether it's YouTube ads, some sort of distribution system that you can then hand off and have these videos do something for someone. Almost everyone wants results. You know, if you're working for another agency, they're gonna get the results with the video you make. And that's when you become just an order taker, you get battled for price, you get that low value. Um, and it's tough, it's tough, I've seen that before. It's like they just wanna undercut you and undercut you and undercut you and get for the lowest amount. But when you're selling results and you're getting results, then you become a strategist, you become a trusted advisor. 
and people will spend money. They'll spend a lot of money and be happy to. And you'll work with people that are really happy with the result because you're getting them what they want. Instead of just making a video, which is kind of a nice to have thing. If some, you know, you can appeal to someone's ego, but almost everyone wants the video to do something. So you've got to be able to produce results. You've got to have those delivery mechanisms. And once you do that, now we've, we've now go in and you have that delivery mechanism. Now you should have marketing systems and sales systems, which I'm going to talk about in just a, in a future video, but also you should have an Ascension model. What does that mean to grow your video production business? Because you should sell strategy first and then you sell a project. And then once that project starts working, now you get them into retainer because if you do get results for people, they will say what's next. That is the best. That is best because then you don't have to sell at all. You're getting results and you're saying, and people say to you, what's next? Now you can make really cool looking videos and people might come to you for a few of these cool looking videos, but if it's not doing anything, there's no reason for them to say, I need more videos, right? It's like, oh, I've got this cool video. But if you sell a strategy, implement that strategy, have a project, they see some results, they're gonna say, what's next? What's next? And then you don't even have to sell. You're like, here, here's what's next. And you're paying attention to the marketing, what's going on in the marketing world, what's going on in the video world. Videos, how it's being consumed, the, the type of video is changing on a regular basis. But video is becoming more and more powerful. And I'm telling you right now is the time when big video agencies are gonna be made. Big video producers, but the ones that are gonna survive are the ones that are gonna thrive are the ones selling strategy because Everyone's gonna have a camera. There's gonna be more videographers, more people that can make really cool looking videos coming out of this, but there's gonna be fewer and fewer awesome people that know how to execute videos that work and produce results. And so you should be always learning that, always learning how to sell better, always working on your systems. And when you do this, you get those results and you're, you have those systems and avoid the roller coaster, you're gonna grow a profitable video production business. So let's recap. What do you need to do to grow the business? First of all, niche down, sell strategy first, know your marketing, build up marketing systems, build out sales systems. Then you build out your onboarding system, your pre-production system, your production system, have a delivery mechanism, and then build referral partners. And I'm gonna talk about all these things in future videos, so make sure to subscribe. In the next video, we're gonna talk about how to price that video production work so you make sure you are profitable because if you build up the systems, you should be able to price it so you are profitable. So make sure to watch the next video and comment down below if you have any questions, comment down below what your goals are for your video production business.